Hello everybody, welcome back. Omega Giving here. Right now we're gonna show you guys a little bit about how to give yourself XP using commands. Now, as a disclaimer, like always, please only do these commands if you've basically played through the entire game, all the gameplay available stuff, all that stuff, because it's really boring once you actually start using commands, because then you don't actually do the game the legit way. So that's just a disclaimer aside. This is for if you're really, you've basically finished all the gameplay loops and all that stuff. And we're gonna talk about how to give yourself XP in different ways. There's a few different ways that you can get yourself XP. So we're right here at a shrine. Um, so we can be able to see everything. You can tell I have some other stuff. These are just debugging from my last video. Uh, I'm gonna pull them out so we don't have to deal with them. But you can see I basically have no XP. So we're gonna use this, this mining shrine as a little test site for things. Now on the right side here, if you look over to the right, we have the tavern.townshiptail.com where we can go and do these commands. So we're gonna go into servers. We're gonna go into my test server here that we're logged on to. And then while we're here, we're gonna go into console. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an outline of how to use some of these commands and what certain commands do. So just follow along, right? So we're gonna do help pro player progression. This is gonna list a lot of the um, different XP commands that we can use for our player. Um, so I'm just going to kind of break them down, then we can show you live what they actually do for real. So right here, we can do player progression path XP. And then we enter your player name, and then you enter the path, and then the amount of XP. What this gives you is it gains experience on a, prof a profession path. Basically, very self-explanatory. You can use this help command to be able to find out what you want to actually have done. So let's try this one out. Player progression path XP. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna give ourselves, um, let's put my name in here, Omega Given um, Path. We're, since we're at the mining shrine, let's do mining really quick. So let's do mining, and then we're gonna do, let's do 1000 XP, just so we can see how much XP. Um, I think if I uh, understand correctly, it's about 3000 XP is a full level. So if you only wanted to get a little bit of XP just to finish off a level, this is a good way to do it. So we're gonna do this, enter it in, it's going to give us a thing that says players got 1,000 XP on mining, going from level 0 to level 0. So we have 1,000 XP, but we didn't gain a full level. Now, if I back away from this, reset it, um, go back to this, we'll see that we have about 1,000 XP, which put, puts us about here. Now, let's try out how to give ourselves a full level with just this command. Since we have 1,000 XP, let's give ourselves 2,000 XP, and that should give us a full level. So I'm going to be using the same command, but instead type 2000. Once it finishes, yep, we got a full level. So let's back off so we can reset this mining shrine, go back to it, and you'll see we have zero XP and we have a full level. So it's 3000 XP per level. Um, let's just try this now that we're at level two, it might be different depending on levels. Let me just double check this live. 3000 XP, let's run it, and that's a full level, there you go. So it takes 3,000 XP to get a full level, and it's very linear in that fashion. Um, the the dial here actually does not seem to be linear. I don't know, it doesn't look to be linear too much, but I don't know, you guys can find out that yourself. All right, now that we have done that, let's go back to our one command, just get the help command so we can look at our the next little step we can do. So help player progression, it'll give us all this stuff that we can do. So we tried this one out, the player path XP command. Now let's look at this, player progression all XP. What does this do is it basically does the same thing as the last one, except for it gives all the XP that you put in the integer value to all path line, all paths, all professional paths. So let's just try it out here. And we're gonna give ourselves 3000 XP just to show that it does do it. Omega given, and we're gonna do 3000 XP. This will give us a level to all professions, forging, wood cutting, chiseling, wait, chiseling? Okay, uh, we're cooking, me melee, and ranged, all that kind of stuff. And let's try it. We're probably gonna get a bunch of dings. All right, yeah, we got one ding. So that, if we step away, come back. I guess it didn't give us a full level two mining. I guess it uh, mines a little bit different. Or like once you get past this two first two levels, it, it probably goes up in how much XP you need. I don't have a chart for that, but you guys can figure that out on your own. Um, so that's how you can get XP to all things. Now the next command is actually probably more helpful to most people because you're probably gonna just want to get a full command, uh, a full level. But what it is, it's player progression path level up. So you don't even have to do XP with this command. You can just do player progression path level up in one word, 
omega given, and then you enter the path that you want to level up in. So let's just do one more mining, because why not? Um, because we're right here. And then press enter. So we should get a level, which we got in our level. Now we're level three. So we can just grab all these things. I guess let's show it in all that stuff. Uh, give ourselves, I don't know, a whole bunch of random things. Oh, I have it. So you have to, you can also turn off this thing where you don't have to preview um, the things. I, I, you can, that's a, maybe I'll try to do that for you guys too. Um, and let's just grab that go location. Uh, if it gives me a thing. There we go. That's echolocation. If you've never seen echolocation, it's super fun. I love echolocation. I'm a miner though, so it makes sense. So we just used up all three of our skill lines there. All right. Uh, that all said, let's go back to the right side of the screen over here where we can maybe cover a couple other things. So we did all XP. We did path level up. Um, we can do check all XP. This is probably sometimes really helpful to do. Um, let's do this. Player progression check all XP, then do omega given, enter that in. Uh, let's scroll up to the top because we've been kind of like looking at that page only. So we can see basically everything about our player, our name. You guys can friend me, I guess. I don't, I'm probably not going to accept. Um, you can see we have a level in foraging, we have a level in woodcutting, we have how much experience we have in those, we have three levels of mining. Next level is 6,000 XP to get to the next mining level. 3,000, 3,000, level one. Cooking, we have level zero, because there's not really a cooking level, I don't know. All right, range, we have one. All right, but that's good there. So that's how we can check the XP. Sometimes that's fairly help helpful to just figure out things a little bit. All right, so we did that command, we did that command, check all XP. Uh, we can do clear path. So say if you want to clear all of your XP in a certain path because you cheated it in and you want to actually do it legit. Um, but you don't want to clear all of your XP because, uh, yeah, you, you maybe got some other XP the legit way. So we can do Omega Given, and let's do Mining. Oops, mining. And then let's do, um, I think this is going to clear out the entire path. So let's clear the entire path. And you can tell all of the bubbles just went away because we lost all of our XP in Mining. Fairly easy um, to understand. Uh, it just clears out all the XP in that line of path. Uh, if we went to, if we did the other command again, we probably see that we have zero in that, but we still have XP in the other uh, lines, or we at least have levels in the other lines. All right, now what else do we have? We have, um, we have the clear path. Let's try this command. Um, player progression clear all omega given. This is gonna, we won't see it actively right now, but if we ran this command right here check all XP, Omega Given, we'll be able to see that we are now zero in everything. So we ran, just just a little highlight, what we just did is we did player progression clear all Omega Given, which clears everything to zero. So you can see that we now have zero on all climbing, or not climbing, all levels. But yes, I did say climbing for the right reason. If you use that command, clear all, progression, player progression, clear all, and then your username, that will actually make it so it deletes your climbing ability as well. I did test this earlier. I did not give myself climbing again, but I don't have climbing anymore. Um, so beware of when you use that command, you're going to then have, to, if you want, you to, if you like had climbing, you need to go get it again. You will have to use the teleport command. So it's like player teleport your username and then uh, tower end to get back to the tower to get your um, climbing ability again. Um, so that's how you do that. Um, it's just something to take note of because you might get mad at yourself when you do that. So go check out my, my teleport video of how to get the climbing through com through commands if you want to use that. Um, but other than that, I think that's almost all the things we have to do here. Clear path, clear all, show skills. We, we did this in another video. You can go check out that video where we did show skills and buy skill. We got the um, two skills. Um, you can get the stinger and you can get the infinite food uh, skills, um, which they kind of, you kind of saw at the very beginning of this video. I had two skills here. That's what those are from. Um, they don't really have a thing on quest version, um, but you can get them. It's cheating, but whatever. You guys have fun with that. Let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, there is a final command. I don't have not tested this, but you can, you know, it's self-explanatory. You can actually um, progress levels of people that are offline. Um, so you can guys go and check that out if you have like friends that you're trying to give skills to and such. 
But other than that, I think that's basically it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton, especially since we have a new goal. Our new goal is actually a really lofty goal because we want to hit 10,000 subs. But yeah, you guys can help that out. Like and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.